Hi everyone. So I added this ring in there. The spider. It's a, a dream catcher um, that I want to make. I added a ring and I want the spider to go on it and make its own webbing on it. So it could be a dream catcher, a real one that this actual spider made. Um, and I want to be able to collect it and sell that to, to stores or to a company that specializes in making silk, uh, clothing sheets, pillowcases and things of that nature. Baby clothing would be a good one because the material is super soft and their, their skin is very delicate. So that would be good for, for them. But then it will also be good to experiment with um, various types of spiders out there to to experiment on the on the type of silk that would be best to to do this type of stuff on or with the for the clothing. Um, and I, I've read on Wikipedia, um, and I've seen some images there where some of them, some of these companies are using, um, um, what are the, they're silk warms and they produce the silk. So if somehow I can get this, the spider of a particular type then that would be the clothing that could be sold. It could be branded for that type of spider, whatever type of spider that is. So yeah, you might get silk um, clothing or material for your for your uh, clothing, but what what type of silk is it? Are, are you talking about silk um, the like a silk war, warm warm uh, uh, silk? Or material, or are you talking about a a particular type of spider, and that's what I want to get to. Um, and I th I think if it's more um, filtered out like that, then more people will be able to get involved and and create new jobs to collect this stuff and ship it out to a company, like kind of like gold mining. But now you're silk mining in a way. You're collecting the silk for for this company, and they'll pay you a certain amount for the amount that you could catch or collect. Um, and I think that would be a good way to to do this in the future. Um, for the the manufacturing of, of clothing and sheets and things like that. Um, and of course you would have to, you would have to go through their strict rules and regulations of what procedures, what type of housing and things like that, how to clean it out. If it, you know, if, if they probably won't want you to have anything inside of it, but it's just a piece of glass to, to keep the silk super super clean without any um any debris on it anything that will um damage their machine or whatever um but yeah i think that that will be one way to do it and i and i did this i made a video and i had um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, oh yeah, it's right here. I had this Spider-Man, and I have, um, this Spider-Man birthday car that I got, and that's the logo right there. Um, and then the, the, the black Spider-Man has it, and then the red one. So anyway, that's the logo right here. I did it freehand, so it doesn't really look like it. But it, I had it right here, and it was um, taped on, and I could retape it real quick just to kind of show you guys um, what I'm doing here.
because it should be on for for this video and, and because it's science it's science right here science so I'm doing all this under the name of science so anyway you have the magnet and what I was thinking was like a a like a band like a wheel that will go around and just basically remove the the web at all times so as soon as it starts doing this crazy stuff it'll come and destroy it it'll come and destroy it but then periodically dropping some food in there so it could eat and then coming up with a way maybe from the bottom where it could discreet like like kind of like a syringe think about a syringe or something where kind of like a, like a little dot like something small like that where the where it'll be something like that inside there and then it'll throw out a bubble of fluid for it and like blood or whatever like goo and it'll go and slurp it up and take it in drink it and then so that way this the environment can stay cleaned or something um and then the machine or you could do it by hand to collect the silk as as um as much as possible um for for people that um are home and want to do this and breed these to for the collection of the silk of a particular type of spider so i mean think about it like who would be interested in this idea and i think um a lot of people would a lot of people that are in the um in the clothing industry will love to buy this stuff especially if you have a bunch of it um and and they could get a lot of people to send a bunch of it to, to them like through the mail through FedEx or something um and they'll collect it and start you know making clothing out of it and, and yes you're not going to get as much as um as much as you think but and they're going to basically make more but that's their that's going to be their company and say you try to buy some socks, you know, they're going to run you like, you know, 20 to $50 for a pair. And they might only send you like $5 for the silk that you collected for that, for those socks. So, but in the end, later on in the future, we're going to have so much people, so many people doing this as a job, as a hobby that. You know, the prices will probably go down a little bit and we'll have better quality um, clothing, just like, um, yeah, we'll just have better quality clothing. Let's just leave it at that. But yeah, um, maybe this idea with the little ring thing was um, kind of dumb for, for what I'm talking about, but this is just like a little dream catcher that I did. Um, hopefully it does it. If it doesn't, then oh well, you know, it's just like I said, a science experiment. Um, and, um, but if it does, then that would be pretty cool and I'll be able to make more and maybe make this, do this, something like this on a bit larger scale, like my, like my, uh, fish tank here, 10 gallon fish tank and maybe, I could cover it, put a bigger um, dream catcher or, or circle, uh, fabric circle with the string going up or something for it to go on and for it to do its thing. And maybe I could have more printouts of Spider-Man on the background or something, make it more interesting, more attractive, you, you know, um, to look at and just to be different, just to try something different. So, because everyone has a dog, right? Like, everyone has a cat. Everyone has a bird. Everyone has a turtle. 
and not a lot of people have spiders so if if this works you could be making a lot of money um especially if you get affiliated with the correct and right company and personally that's why i don't personally that's why i don't understand why a lot of people say that you know, if, if robots or machines were built and created, a lot of people would, um, like, go out of business. I don't think that's that's true. Or, or, I mean, not go out of business, but lose their jobs. I don't think you would. I think we would just come up with more creative things like this um, idea. And even there's a lot more other ideas. Like, just there's so many things that you could do. Um and that probably you're not even aware of. But there's so many things that that we can do. And it's all around us. Like spiders are everywhere. They're around, they're around your property. You just have to go out there and collect them. And then do a little bit of research and find the right ones. And see, and I, I'm still like very uneducated when it comes to this area. Like I still need to educate myself and teach myself a lot more things but i'm mainly just doing this really quickly to to inspire someone if you're out there and you want to do it you have uh, containers that you could house the spiders without them crawling out um, maybe put a, a logo or a fake spider on top of it for people to be aware of what's inside so they won't accidentally open it and, and cut themselves or bite themselves or bite themselves uh get bitten by the spider or whatever um then you could do that you know and and um see but like i said i don't i'm not really educated in all this so so my thing right now is educating myself in this aspect and and then obviously learning or teaching myself if the 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 spider webbing can be collected and and saved and then for how long i mean is it um preserved like a like honey you know lasts for a long time or or not or how how do you collect it? Can it be, um, you know, like squashed or squeezed or compressed into one, you know, circle or square? Or does it have to be done at a certain way on, you know, like a certain method to, for, for people that do the weaving to, um, to like extract it from that i don't i don't know see i don't know any of anything about that but the more i teach myself the more i'll be able to share uh just quickly and briefly um and then other people will be able to do this and and like i said like there there could be a company out there that does nothing but say you know say that that says something like or advertises something like you know give us or send us all your the stuff that you have the of of the um webbing the silk webbing that the spider produced and we will give you a little bit of money for that then your work won't be in vain. You will actually get something for your um, for your efforts, and that will give people better comfort, better sheets to go to sleep in, and things like that. And I mean, I don't know. I, I really don't know everything, um, but yeah, like maybe there's a, there will be a be, there's a better way 
to collect this stuff. Um, sorry about my hands. I got burned, by the way, with the grease and oil at my job. But um, well, anyway, yeah, may maybe there's some people out there that have been doing this for years and decades. And they know a better way to do this. That, I don't know. So if you have an idea and want to share it so I could collect it and send it to you, then let me know. Um, especially if, if you can make it into a lucrative business. And I mean, I've seen on the internet, like I, it's not up right now. It's not um, like, yeah, it's shut down, but. If like I I seen like a leather no not a leather um a silk uh shirt and other clothing for like four hundred a a thousand just for one shirt, but remember it's it requires a lot of work here to collect this stuff for the spider to take it out, um, and things like that. And I have other ideas for this spider or spiders to throw out more webbing. And I think one way would be to like kind of like dropping it, but like not harming it though. But kind of like maybe like if you, if you have a, a housing like this one and you have maybe like a like a square that that can churn doing doing and you know and it'll keep churning like that and then it'll turn clockwise and if the spider is always falling well guess what it's gonna try to um protect itself and it's gonna throw out some webbing and webbing every time it, it you you try to make it fall so that will basically force it to throw out more webbing until it can't anymore then that's when you will let it rest and um feed it and then do do some ex science experiments, maybe on a few of them, and let one rest for one day. Or like, say you have five, you let all like you do that process to all five, and then they don't have any more web because they used it all. So now you let all of them rest, but you only let one out of the five. You let one of them rest for one day, and then if it could throw more, then you will know that these can as well. But if it can't then you know that the second day you when you test this one out if it can or not all the way to the fifth day and then doing science experiments like that to figure out which day or how long of a of a, a resting period that would need to extract and remove as much of that stuff as possible um to to collect the most um for for you as a person that collects it and to and for you to supply it to to the manufacturers that that do the I don't know whatever they do right um for them to start making the clothing and stuff like that um so yeah, I'll show you guys again if this little spider does this. Um, i only been having it for like a month, maybe less. Uh, so I'm still learning a lot about them. I don't even know what type of spider this is, uh, but I have it in a pickle chips uh, burger deal container. It's... Uh, one quart 
14 fluid ounces, 46 fluid ounces, one core, 14 fluid ounce, 1.36 liters. Um, so it's pretty big. Um, but I don't know, maybe it needs more space or maybe less. I, I, I mean, I think the better, the bigger, the better. So I have no idea. This is my first time owning a spider or not really, but like, um, so does anyone know what type of spider this is just by looking at it? Because I know there's probably a bunch of them out there, but here, let me just open it and show you guys real, really quickly. Oh, shoot. I forgot about the ring thing. I'm so dumb. Um, I don't know what type of spider that is. Maybe you guys know. Um, maybe this will be a good spider to do this with. Maybe it won't. I have no idea. One thing I have realized.